Welcome to the video overview for the Fashion Factory Texture Pack 2. 100 fresh new textures for the Fashion Factory 3.0. If you are back in Fashion Factory 2.0, you can get a free upgrade to Fashion Factory 3.0 that will work in CorelDRAW X6, X5, X4, and X3. In this pack, we kind of departed from the standard grunge and into a lot of different effects. We've got some new paint effects. There's some new animal fur in here. There's a lot of halftone effects, halftones mixed with grunge, etc. Because we found from a lot of our clients that they were getting really good results with this halftone effects we were using in the design base art templates that we've been setting up. And we wanted to really kind of get us going in the direction of where we see these effects going in the market. With Fashion Factory and the Texture Pack 2, you'll be able to create literally in minutes the types of designs and looks that you see on the shelves in the retail stores, but you'll be able to do it very easily in Corel Draw giving you a distinct advantage in your market relating to competition with other screen printers and designers in your area. It's very important that when you're setting up designs for clients, you really want to make them feel like you're setting up a custom fashion design for them. You want to be able to use the effects that are popping in the market. You also want to be able to upsell. It's very easy to take a simple design that the client provides you, add some effects and color to it, and say, well, here's what you asked for, but we put this together for you. This one's going to cost an extra dollar fifty a shirt. Which one looks better to you? Obviously, eight, nine times out of ten, they're going to look at the one with the effects and say, that's the one I want to go with. And when you say to them, it's only going to be another dollar fifty a shirt, that doesn't sound like a lot of money to them. But if the order is for 50 or 60 shirts, you can see very quickly that it's going to add to your bottom line. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these new textures. I want to come in here and we'll take a look at this design here. And I think here I'd like to add some paint effects in here. To do that, I'll go ahead and select this and I'll just go up to my advanced tools and I'll open up my Fashion Factory 3. And that'll go ahead and load. I'm going to go to my textures and I'll go to system textures. Now we have some very small previews here and you can just key through these with the arrows. And you can see all the different textures here. But if I want to look for something, let's say paint, I can just come up here and keyword in paint and then hit search. Now looking at this, I can get a really good preview of these just by coming and double clicking here and then kind of keying my way through the arrows. And you can see you got a paint effect there, different effect there, etc got some splats there and so on. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to look at, I believe this is the one I'll go ahead and start with. Got this selected, I'll go ahead and click apply texture as transparency. And that'll bring it right into my graphic and I'll instantaneously have that effect applied. I'll go ahead and move this over. Now looking at this, we can see what we've got is like paint strokes mixed in here. Now if I want to give this a really interesting look, I could do something like come down here and change this to let's say a blue color and I could go ahead and copy that, paste that back in, go to my interactive transparency tool, and then I could just change or rotate this a little bit, change it in size, and then put two colors on top of each other, say something like a lighter blue here. Go ahead and click on that, and I'll start to get an entirely different look, or go with something like a yellow, or come down into one of these lavender looking colors, or I could go into a black. As you can see there, and you start to get a really off the wall effect directly in the vector. So when you go ahead to color separate this, as long as these are spot colors, it will spot color separate very easily for you and you'll be able to get set up on press. On this design, we're going to take a look at another effect. And I want to go here and I'll go back to my textures here and I'm going to go down through my categories here. And you can see how these work. And I'll go to metallic. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of new metallic effects. And here's a pretty cool effect right here. It's kind of bent metal looking with a little bit of grunge built into metal plate. I'm going to go ahead and before I do that I want to keep my white background here. I'm going to copy this, paste this back in and I'll change that to a black. Then I'll go ahead and click apply texture as transparency. And the reason is because I want white behind the effect on my black vector so that I've got some contrast in the effect. And I'll go ahead and click on apply as, transpa as transparency. And here again you can see we've got a really cool metallic looking effect built directly into the design. Now here I can take this also, select this, go to my interactive transparency tool, and I could take this and resize the effect, as you can see right there. Now I might want to do some more with this, but you can see that this effect is really giving this a different look in this design. Go over here to this monochrome text on this white design. We'll add an effect here also, and you can see, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel there. I want to click on this. I'm going to go here to back to, I'll go back to all categories here and I'm going to go with this, a 
effect right here. And this is what we call halftone effects. And we've got quite a few of these in here, and they're really good for working with or creating that halftone look. But go ahead and select this, and then I'll click Apply as Transparency with that object selected. And I can see I'm going to need to change the color on that because I've got white behind that, but I'll change that to a black. And you can see that halftone effect there. And then I could take this and do something like rotate it. And there's complete training on the site for the Fashion Factory. Do something like rotate it like that, and I've got a really off-the-wall effect set up in my text very easily. So there's a lot of different things we can do with these new textures in the Texture Pack 2 for the Fashion Factory 3.0. And you can get that at www.advancedtshirts.com. And as I said, if you're back in Fashion Factory 2.0, we do have a free upgrade to the Fashion Factory 3.0. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.